Welcome to Bella Pro. Those are canned birds, but we will be out to see them again very soon. It's raining outside, so if you hear pitter-patter, that's what it is. But it's a more pleasant sound than many others. You know, Bella Pro is a channel that's, oh, based on health, nutrition, and cycling. And all those things uh, are great, but I'm not a doctor or a nutritionist, so when I say things, they are in fact my own personal opinion, and I'll leave a link to someone who has a better, more scientific-based view so you can see that my opinion actually does have a little foundation. You know, the, the biggest mistakes vegetarians make uh, could be not eating enough variety. I hear this more often because we like certain things, we are comfortable with them, but we know they work, and, and we pursue those over and over again. So a, a large variety of, of foods, of vegetarian products, are required. Now, I have this book, Raw Fresh or fresh vegetable and fruit juices. The original title is Raw Vegetable and Fruit Juices. So I may refer to it that way from time to time because my original copy was the other, the other name. Um, they think this sells better, uh, fresh over raw, but it's the same animal. <laughs> the idea is <clears throat> we're consuming in, in this product a, a that it isn't cooked. All the enzymes are live. This is, in fact, live food. And it goes into your system very quickly and is absorbed very quickly. I can't think of anything more nutritious. As far as I'm concerned, I basically live on it. And uh, everything else I consume is more or less uh, icing on my cake. <laughs> we know uh, that as athletes, we need between 1.2 and 2 grams of protein a day. Now that would mean if I was working out regularly at full, full bore, they're recommending 2 grams of protein, which would put me over 150 grams of protein a day in consumption. And I'm not exactly sure how to do that. Uh, I do use a protein substitute, uh, whey protein, and I have a video on whey protein uh, in the advanced nutrition playlist. Meat and cheese substitutes. Uh, I don't know very much about them as I've never seen them. So if you do buy and consume meat and uh, cheese substitutes, look at the ingredients to make sure there's no palm oil and the sodium content and that sort of thing. Um, if it's made with palm oil and other things you can't pronounce, uh, perhaps it's not such a great thing. Uh, another issue is vegan junk food marketing and these food companies, you know, they see this trend and they want to jump on board and, and market this. So, um, a lot of the vegan junk food, empty calories, fried, it's dead food that's processed, but it's made with 100% uh, dead vegan stuff. So it's really not that good, and especially if it has a lot of sodium and, and uh, certain types of oils, uh, palm oil in particular, uh, I try to avoid. Uh, palm oil is uh, the worst saturated fat that they're adding into our foods, and I, I really wish they wouldn't. Number five here is uh, doctor visits. Because we're eating a, a vegetarian lifestyle and looking good in the mirror, we may want, also want to get a blood analysis to make sure that our protein and nutritional levels are where they should be. Uh, Forgetting to get a blood test at least once a year can lead to other issues and you may not see it until you start to atrophy or this or that. And really, uh, 
a quick visit uh, isn't that expensive. So uh, I try to avoid cooked foods. Now, as I mentioned, I basically live on fresh vegetable juice and the other products I eat, uh, paella being one of them, uh, is, um, is icing on the cake, but we need a variety of things, including some meats. Now, I don't eat a lot of meat, but not because of any particular uh, environmental or, 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 or you know, holistic reason. I just don't eat a lot of meat because I don't like it that much, unless it's just, just so. Uh, I really do like a, a good barbecue at least once a month. Uh, the plant is relatively healthy, and when we cut down Brazilian rainforest to plant soybeans, we're not doing it any favors. Soybean plantations or farms require more fertilizer and pesticides than almost any other, and soybeans are known to contain high levels of pesticides. So I would be very careful about consuming them and for other reasons. And I did a story uh, on soy in the advanced nutrition playlist. So I am a senior athlete and I do believe that we need to have our yogurt, cheese, especially cheese because it's such a great source of calcium, and milk and some meats. That's me. Uh, if you can eliminate those, uh, and still get all the benefits that you need to be healthy, uh, bless you. So I'm going to, uh, I don't know how, and I really have studied it. Uh, if you, I've published over 400 pages of text in the Advanced Nutrition playlists and other resources uh, in my, in my uh, channel, and <laughs> I still can't do it. I can't find the micronutrient the micronutrients in a glass of milk anywhere else. So that's me, but I'm going to get going, and uh, thanks a lot for watching.